Hello friends and welcome back to another Max Raid Event Den update. It is that time of the month again, so we have got all the new Max Raid Event Den news for you right here today. The September Raid Dens have finished with the G-Max Toxicity, the G-Max Falapple and things like that. And we're now moving on to our final uh, Max Raid Event before Crown Tundra drops later this month on the 22nd. So I'd expect some special events in the run-up to that. Um, and of course, if uh, we do get any, I will cover all of those. So make sure you do hit the subscribe button and uh, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of those special events like we've had in previous months months over specific weekends where there is certain shiny Pokemon and special Pokemon that you'd be able to get. And before I forget, there is another event that is running at the moment that allows you to actually get some special event Pikachu cap Pokemon. So throughout October, there will be a bunch of codes given out um, and you'll be able to get a number of these special event Pikachus with all of their caps ranging from the very first anime series right through to I think the I Choose You movie. So at the minute, there is currently two codes available. There'll be more, as I say, throughout October. And what I'm going to do is if you keep an eye on the community section of the YouTube channel, um, I will update these codes when they do uh, get released. So um, I don't have exact dates for when they will, but just keep an eye on that section and I'll make sure to post them as I do. But for the first two, they are available right now. There is the original cap and the partner cap Pikachu. Um, you can get these with the codes that are on your screen now, which is Pikachu get and then I choose you obviously with ones in place of the I's and zeros in place of the O's. So like I say, I will be covering all of these on the community section as we go through the rest of October. Right, back to the dens. Um, so moving on to today, like I say, we have got um, the new dates for October. So if we head over to our trusty source at Cerebi, uh, Joe has updated all the information. You can see this event here on your screen runs from October the 1st to October the 31st. Um, so I'd assume um, going into November, we'll probably have some Crown Tundra orientated uh, events, I would guess. So we'll, we'll see what happens there. Um, but for Pokemon Sword, we'll go through the one star raids first. We'll not click on that, but you can see there's a kind of ghost and and dark theme to this one. So the first Pokemon that we got access to uh, is Haunter, Driftblim, Duskull, Impidimp, Dino and Morpeko and that's your one star raids. Again, no special items, kind of the generic stuff that we're always going to be getting, the berries, the candies, uh, the Armorite or and Dynamax candies. Uh, so all of that good stuff. Then moving on to the two star raids, you can see the G Max uh, that is available, or one of them uh, from this event's dens is going to be G Max Gengar. Um, you can't actually catch this native in Pokemon Sword, so it's uh, it's a good opportunity for those players who've got Pokemon Sword that want to catch G Max Gengar, uh, and you can get it as low as a two star raid. So that's really good. Uh, so the two stars are Gengar, Driftblim, Duskull, Impidimp, Dino, and Morpeko again, and then the three stars gets a little bit more spicy. I see, but just with the, the the evolutions there with the Gengar, the Drift Blim, the Disc Noir, the Morgrem, Dino and Morpeko and then four star again it's going to be pretty much all the same just more uh, evolution lines here as we get the G Max Gengar again Drift Blim, the Disc Noir, the Grim Snarl, as well as and Morpeko and then finally on to the five star raid dens and you can kind of assume what they're going to be with the G Max Gengar, the Drift Blim, Disc Noir, Grim Snarl, G Max Hydreigon and more Pekka. So we've got two G Max Pokemon that you can actually obtain through this raid den this month with the G Max Gengar and the G Max Grimmsnarl, which are going to be interesting. Both very cool G Max Pokemon and um, both. Uh, Pokemon that I really like so hopefully you take advantage of this while we've got opportunity to catch them this month um, and it goes the same you know that the Gengar isn't available on Sword I don't think Grimmsnarl is available on Shield so Shield players are able to get sorry while I break things Shield players able to get a, a hold of Grimmsnarl and access to that this month in these raid dens Hydreigon's a nice one as well as more Peko um, and Drift Blim as well which can be a little bit awkward to catch otherwise and then we'll move on to Shield so exactly the same in Shield you've got the one star raids two star all the way through to the five star so this den is exactly the same on Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield there's no different differences between the two copies and like I say it runs from today the 1st of October until the 31st of October so um not what I was expecting but I think with uh, the Crown Tundra kind of around the corner 
it's it's not the worst it's not the worst and i think we've got a lot of things to look forward to with the crown tundra coming on the 22nd of october so getting into game you can see right now i've got one of the events from the previous month the g max falapple here so um what you want to do as always come to mystery gift this is for the benefit of you new players that don't know and haven't done this before come into your menu screen go into mystery gift and then update wild area news and it will connect to the internet and it will update your wild area news and then you can see you've connected to the internet and received the latest updates on the wild area so that is all done once you've done that if you just come back into the den like that and there we go gmax grim snarl so that's really good now to activate this um and get a den like this it can work just to clarify because we had a few questions in our last month's update uh you can find these event den uh, raids these promoted raid dens in any den in the wild area in the galar region and the isle of armor so they are available in any den they will only appear in a red beam and to manipulate them to use the date skip glitch to cycle through the pokemon so you would uh, come to this den you would click into it invite others and hit your home menu and go down to your date and time skip the day forward come back into the game quit out of the den and then come back into it and the pokemon will change so you're able to manipulate it that way you can only do that with a den that you've dropped a wishing piece into if it's a, a if it's just a randomly spawned den you won't be able to use that method with it if you change the date on those dens they will disappear so make sure you are dropping a wishing piece in and just to clarify this is available on in any den it, they can appear but has to be a red beam okay so um we'll hop in i think i should change pokemon our car call that we've been doing some breeding with is not going to be up to uh up to scratch where are we going we need a, let's see a steel or a poison type or a fairy type even have we got where's my band box since we've got the ban list in uh, vgc at the minute i've got a bunch of banned pokemon all grouped together i think excadrill is going to be a good one okay so here's an excadrill i actually got from a, um, a raid den not so long ago so we will hop into this one and of course if you get any of these gmax or anything like that you'll be able to try and get them as shinies uh, which is a nice chance you know gmax grimstar and gengar both white shinies so really nice pokemon and you can do that and then share them uh this is quite a cool raid to do so i think that about wraps it up for us today my friends i think we've covered everything like i say i'll be updating any additional events that we get throughout this month which i'm sure that we will be getting in the lead up to crown tundra and um, just make sure that you update your dens like we went through in this video and uh, all i'll say is happy hunting thanks so much for tuning in if you've enjoyed today's episode please remember to drop a like on the video it does really help out the channel and the video itself if you're new like i said do hit that subscribe button for more of these updates more pokemon content in general and uh, i'll see you all next time so until then friends take care of yourselves be kind to each other and i'll see you for the next one so until then take care and bye bye